if you like to keep your audience attention onto your slides or onto your presentation then presenting the data in the right format is very important and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to present the data in a nice format so when I click it will first show me the first set of information you can put about your annual report or something and then the second information you can you can talk about the sales report and the third one is how much faster your company is growing so this way you can retain the audience attention onto your slides so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and go to view and tick this guides go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline align center align middle then i'm going to right mouse click on the object and say edit point you can see here there are four points two at the bottom and two at the top and i'm going to add one more point in the right center for that right mouse right mouse click and just say add point here so I have added one extra point and then using this you can see here there are two small white uh, shapes I'm just going to drag one inside and I'm going to drag one outside and I'm going to select the top point and then I'm just going to make it more curvy and this I'm going to make it somewhat inside so you have to just make sure that you have end up getting the right shape so when i click you can see here i have got this shape now so i'm going to select this and press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to give some different color and put it like this so only this visible which is blue i'm just going to keep that one and i'm going to remain uh, the remaining i'm going to delete so i'm just going to select the blue first and then the orange under format go to merge shape just say subtract so i have got this shape ready so i'm going to use this particular shape for my rest of the slide the next step is to add a oval shape in the center for that go to insert shapes select a oval shape draw the oval shape while holding the shift key so that you get the perfect circle maybe this much size is okay shape outline make it no outline align center and align middle then i'm going to take this particular shape let me just change the color and i will bring it here press ctrl d and just using this arrow rotate it i'm going to put one here let me just increase the size I can just reduce a little bit width so one is this again press ctrl D and I'm going to add one more here so I'm going to cut this particular circle with this two kind of a wave shape so first I'm going to select this then I'm going to select this two by holding the ctrl or shift key then under format merge shape i will say fragment and you can see here fragment i can just simply delete this one i'll just select delete all so you can see here i have got this particular shape now now let's give some background for this uh, i'm going to select the top part press ctrl d to du uh, duplicate it go to format and give some dark colors to it and i'm just going to rotate it i will just say flip vertical and then flip horizontal i'm going to bring this here then hold the shift key and reduce the size a little bit increase maybe that's better you can zoom it and then I'm going to send this to back so you can see here this particular now it's getting kind of a 3d effect so this one I have done now I can just do it for the other side for this side also maybe I can select this and I can 
copy it here now i'm going to select this object press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm going to cut this into half for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle and this much shape i'm just going to cut it select this and then this merge shape just say subtract and i'm going to give the same dark color to it and i'm just going to rotate it and then put it in the back just say send to back zoom it and you can just rotate it a little bit and sorry you can increase the size if you want or you can just reduce it now you can see here this particular text is coming out i can do, do two things here i can just right mouse click i'll just say edit point and i can just move it inside or simply i can just select this press ctrl d again you can see here there's one more let me just change this color to somewhat lighter and put exactly on top of this and then select this object and then this object i can go to merge i can just say a fragment and then i can simply remove this one so you can see here you end up getting this shape only and then i'm going to control d to duplicate and rotate it and put the other side just increase a little bit and then send to back So this is uh, some time consuming job, but once done, it looks very beautiful. So you can see here, we are almost getting the shape now. Then the last one, I can again select this press control D. Again, I can rotate it. And I'm going to rotate one more time. I'm going to put it here and then send this to back so you can see here the design is ready now the circle is ready then i can right mouse click go to format shape and you can give some light gradient fill for this select this go to gradient fill maybe two stops or three stops let me just start with two stops and you can give some light good color combination you can do something like this and then I'll select this press F4 key and this also F4 so you can see here I have used very good color combination if you want you can give some more uh, colors also so now if you want you can give some uh, gradient fill to the background so maybe this size let me just reduce a little bit I think this is perfect and this also let me just reduce it a little bit I think this looks more good and then you can just give the uh, background color I can just say gradient fill which I've already selected before and if you want you can change any uh, background of your choice let me just delete this I don't need now go to view remove the guidelines and then you can add your own text for that go to insert text box and I will just say like 150 percent maybe the data got increased white color make it bold and you can just put it here maybe if this increase I can just go to insert and some shapes I can add it the arrow small arrow 
which will represent uh, this increase the green color shape outline no outline likewise you can just give some data here also and some data at the bottom also and then you can go to insert shapes using this connector elbow i can just select this and give shape outline maybe white and i can add detail text here like this you can do it for all press ctrl d to duplicate this is for this one Control D and this is for this. So you can see the our design is almost ready. And if you want to give more detailed text here or the main headline. here and then i'm just going to give again the white color increase the size make it bold and i'm going to add some more detailed text here so you can see here our design is almost ready now and if you like you can add some animation for example let me just select this text the arrow by holding the control or shift key or just shift key and press control g to group it then this and this control g this and this control g then i can use the animation which is simple animation fly in so let me just enable the animation fly in you can see here this i want to come this from top and the background should come from the bottom fly in bottom and this i can make it with previous so if i play it comes like this and then the text should come for that i'm going to give a wipe effect again this should happen after previous and then again i can give a wipe effect which is from left this is also after previous so if i just play it here it comes something like this likewise i can do the same animation for the remaining two bottom text one and text two That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.